Do you have an awareness of each other's emotional needs? Yeah. When you're on the uh, yeah, road? Yeah, we tell each other. Yeah, in not so many <laughs> words. It's incredibly so exhausting being on tour and living on a bus together. So yeah. we're all very aware you of each other. The whole band needs. have seen me and Charles screaming at each other as well. So We nearly boxed ahead of each other in Heathrow we Airport there hour and a half two months ago. Each other. Squaring up to each other in Heathrow Airport and the rest of the band looking over at us like that. My fist from a that. <laughs> So over, yeah, we're aware of that. Over what? Ah, ah, one time we were nothing. living with, we used to live with Sean in the same house and one day we were having a row over a pair of socks and Sean came, came over and took the socks and gave us one each. No. Take it really funny. And we both turned and were like, don't you get involved in this. Jeez, I learned very so, quick, uh, don't they? Yeah. So we just, but, but, uh, we don't row as much as we used six, to. We don't row as much as we used to. Not at all, no. But there's six of us now, so, anymore. so it's not Sean <laughs> used to sit in the middle of this van oh, when we go on the front seat and the van. on either side. And we, I remember one day we had two boys screaming at each other over me the whole way to go. But we we had a screaming match at each other about which type of broadband was more common in Ireland, line of sight, or was it? Was it some other version? Jesus. But me and Andrew are screaming at each other Scream. over Sean. The entire way to Galway, and then just walk into a place and play a gig. <laughs> Perfect. We get on our, it's good to get it out of your system. Yeah, it's yeah. a much better now, I have way to say. Better. We're out of way last now. Yeah.